as a mobile first designer and creator, a lot of people ask me all the time, man, how do you push out those graphics like you do? How do you always have really nice fonts and things like that? And you're creating from an iPad. iPads are not computers. How can you load up fonts? Can I use the force to get fonts on my iPad? No, it's a much simpler way. That's what this video is all about. I'm gonna show you real quick how to set up fonts on the iPad. Even though you couldn't hear it, Baby Yoda Grogu said, basically, there's an easy way to put fonts on your iPad. It's your boy, Jay Dunn. I'm so excited to have you guys back on the channel, getting things done, where we motivate you, motivate you to get things done through faith and technology. So, you saw in the beginning of the video that I'm gonna show you how to do fonts. It's really, really simple, really, really easy, and it will supercharge your creativity on the iPad and make you go even further. Let's get into it right now. Just like Grogu here, I'm gonna have to use the force to get all of my screens together to make sure magically, I don't, I don't have to have to magically get my screens together because I have a software called Ecamm that allows me to bring in all of my screens to show you exactly what I'm doing on my iPad. Let's get to it right now. And so I can get to my screen as simple as clicking a button. So now you see my screen. I have my iPhone up here. Look, you see, you see everything here, all my actions. So you can actually see what I'm about to get into now. It's an iPhone 12 Pro. I have my ZV-1 on me, my iPad Pro here. And so you can actually see on the screen exactly what's going on. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to install a particular app called AnyFont. You can go get it from the App Store. Let's go here, do, 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 do. type in any font and this is my particular one of choice there's many others but this is the one that i trust the most so when i click that i already have it i'm gonna hit open and then once i'm in it i'm able to as you can see see all the fonts that i actually have available to me so here's all the actual fonts that i would want to use so number two once you have any font all you need to do now is just go find fonts that you want to install, whether they're from Adobe, uh, Creator Suite, whether they're from your favorite site, like the font or 1001 1, fonts, or I use Envato Elements, so I'm going to actually go to Envato Elements and download a font from there. So as you can see here, I pulled it up, scroll through here, scroll through here. Oh, that's a nice one here. So I'm going to hit Presenter. And I'm just looking at it. It has OTF, TTF, AI, EPS, etc. So I'm like, you know what? I think I want to go for installing this particular font. So I'm going to go ahead and hit download, add it. You know, we have licensing and things like that. So I have to put it to what, what I'm going to be using it for, which is going to be specifically for my YouTube stuff. But just for reference, here it is. So number three, once you've actually downloaded it, you're going to need to go find the zip. So here's the zip here, elements. I'm going to go ahead and download that. Hit present, and I'm actually gonna go to the TTF here, hit this, open it up straight into any font, and then once I'm in any font, I can actually scroll down, and I can find the font that I'm looking for. So here's presenter, I'm gonna hit presenter, TTF. It's gonna ask me to install it, so I hit allow, close, and then I go into settings, Real simple, go to where it says profile download, install. Next, install. And now that it's installed, I'll be able to go into my favorite app of choice and change it up. So I can go to my fonts here, like where I have review, go to here, this is Pixelmator, and I can find my font presenter and change it up, boom just like that real real simple and of course like I, because i do have these fonts pre-installed i can go through any of them change them up in my app of choice this is the way to do it guys this is the way to get things done in a faster greater way on your ipad so tell me, did this video help you in any way? Did this supercharge your creativity? Are you able to now do more and more professional level graphics on your iPad? Well, comment below and let me know what you think. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and be prepared for the next video because I got some insane great things coming for you guys real soon. Peace. It's your boy, Jay Dunn.